Hi, my name is Charlene Crawford, and I'm the production manager here at Gallery 7 Theatre. I have the honour to interview some of the cast and the director of our upcoming show, The Secret Garden. Right now, I'm joined by Arnie, who plays Neville in the show. Hi, Arnie. Hi, Charlene. How are you? I'm good. We are no strangers. We've worked on a couple shows together, mm -hmm. and you're definitely no stranger to theatre or musical theatre. No, that's true. What was the very first musical, if you can think back, that you were ever in? Pirates of Penzance. Oh, sorry. Big fan over here. <laughs> um, who, what character did you play in that show? I was Samuel. Samuel. It was the first show I ever did. Um, a friend of mine ran into me in the mall and said, hey, they're looking for more guys. <laughs> and uh, I was there all of about a week. And then the fellow playing Samuel had to leave the show. And I... Um, they were going to hold auditions for this character at the end of the show, and I'm heading across the parking lot, uh, going home, and, and the, the fellow playing the Pirate King and Frederick came and chased me down across the parking lot and said, hey, where are you going? I said, I'm going home. And they said, no, 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 get back in there and audition for this. And I go, what's an audition? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And you've been hooked ever since, because fast forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was, a, it was, a, it was life-changing for me. You know, I was um, working... As a policeman at the time, um, serious job, life was serious. I hadn't done anything that was play or other side of my brain creative for a long, long time. And uh, it just opened up a whole world. It was, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was beautiful for me, actually. It was uh, very freeing and uh, kind of grounding at the same time. I bet. Well... You've just told us why theater is important to you. It mm. opened up a brand new world. And I bet after two years of minimal theater, it's nice to get back on stage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Uh, what drew you to The Secret Garden? Uh, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Excellent I, answer. You know, it, it was, I, I work uh, in a pretty... Well, I work full time uh, in a in a labor intensive job right now, and and if I'm honest, uh, you know, I come home at the end of the day and I'm tired, mm -hmm. and so the last thing that I kind of thought I would ever be doing um, right now at this place in my life is, you know, heading out to rehearsal for three hours, you know, like After literally touch down and then head out, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I didn't think that I would be doing that, and so when I saw that the Secret Garden was remounting. Um, you know, like I see the audition emails come in and I look at them and I go, oh, that'd be nice. I just don't know if I can do it right now. Mm -hmm. And Ken called me and asked me if I thought I might be interested. And that's all it took was just someone, just tap. someone to tap me on the shoulder and, and, you know. Well, tell us a little about the character you play, Neville. Yeah, Neville. He's our antagonist in the story. Um, at least that's the way he's going to be seen by the audience. Uh, there are levels to him. You know, he's, he's doing, he, he, he can be gruff, you know, he can be, uh, uh, he's no, nobody's friend really other than, other than his brother, um, Archie and Neville get each other very much so. Uh, Neville's very duty bound. Neville mm -hmm. is doing what he is doing out of a sense of, of duty. And I don't know how much I want to give away with, uh, with the character, but he's grieving as well. Mm -hmm. Differently than Archie, they don't they don't handle things and grieve in the same way. But they're both grieving; mm -hmm. they've both handled it differently. And uh, Neville is he's there for Archie. That's really beautiful. I like thinking about siblings connecting that way. And mm -hmm. it sounds like you and Michael <laughs> have a very unique relationship to your characters yeah. on stage. Yeah, yeah. It's I, I I've loved the journey. I've loved as we're starting to get the scenes up on their feet and run them and you make character discoveries mm -hmm. and connections with each other as well. Yeah. You know, I, I love that. I love that. I love hearing that. It makes me excited to come and see the show. <laughs> um, what is one of your favorite moments uh, that you've had in rehearsal so far? Easy. Uh, the first time we start when, you know, you rehearse a show like this in chunks, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you do, you get some music under your belt and you, you got get some staging going and and the first time that everything starts to come together and that moment when you go ah this is what the scene is going to look like mm -hmm. you know or you start seeing the potential yeah. in the scene when 
that's like that's always my favorite moment when the when the music and and the the scene and the singing and the characters and all of that starts to come together instead of just being in its little yeah. block oh that yeah. sounds oh that sounds like a fun moment for rehearsal yeah, sure. um what has been the most challenging thing about um your character or about the rehearsal process i think i'm just tired <laughs> <laughs> you know like i said i I, I I work i i i Usually what I've had to do is just come straight mm -hmm. from work uh, mm. to here. So I don't get a chance to kind of decompress after work before I come here. It's just coming straight here. And um, yeah, just kind of leaving everything outside and uh, getting into the process and forgetting that I'm tired, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. just... Um, that's probably the most challenging thing for, <laughs> for me. Just yeah. getting here and being ready. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite song from the musical? Lily's Eyes. Mm. I mean, it's the one that I uh, I get to sing as a duet with uh, with, with Mike, Mike. and um, it's a beautiful song. And yes. when I when you know Ken first mentioned if I'd be interested in the show, and I started you know looking into it and researching mm -hmm. it, as soon as I heard that song, I went, "Oh yeah, I'd I'd like to sing that." And now you get to. <laughs> now I get to. Oh. Yeah. Um, I would like you to please look at that camera and tell us why we should come and see The Secret Garden. I think you should all come and see The Secret Garden uh, because it's a beautiful story. It's a story of redemption. It's a story of grieving. And it's a story of connection. Thank you so much for talking with us today, Arnie. Thank you. And you can come and learn more about Neville, Archie, Mary, and everything about the Secret Garden at the Abbotsford Arts Center.